This is Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 3 o'clock for those that uh, get off of work at 5 p.m. Yeah. Pacific Standard Time. Mm -hmm. You have exactly two hours to remove all your fraud and felony. <laughs> Now, um, just looking at this legislative manual, I know that a lot of the employees of the government um, in Pacific Standard Time, they dislike me putting videos on the YouTube. Yes, seems to disrupt your work. Uh, but I was looking here at the forfeiture in the index to the state constitution. Yes. And I thought we should look at that again uh, today because... I did email all the available email addresses for the Seattle Police Department. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't get any responses. It's, it's as if you do want to lose everything you own. Now you have two hours. Yes. Mm -hmm. To remove your fraud and felony. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now just looking at the state constitution, forfeiture not to be remitted, invalid if unorganized when. Yes. Uh, irrevocable grant prohibited liability not relieved by lease. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I thought for sure that when you had knowledge of a crime. Yes. Wait a second. I got that wrong. Forfeiture accrued to territory in yours to state. Yes. Corporate charter or finance. No remission. Mm hmm. The state conviction not to work franchise for combination and restraint of trade. Yep. Governor has power to remit. Governor Jay Inslee can make a decision right now. Must report remissions to legislature 311. Yep. Judicial office absent causes. Yes. Remission by special act prohibited. Mm hmm. Now let's look at the judicial office and the absence causes. That would be Article 4, Section 8. Now Article 4, Section 8 says that in the state of Washington's Constitution, yes, uh, eligibility of judges, Article 4, mm -hmm. Section 8, um, absence of judicial officer, yes. Any judicial officer who shall absent himself from state for more than 60 consecutive days, yes, shall be deemed to have forfeited his office, <laughs> provided <laughs> that in cases of extreme necessity, the governor may extend the leave of absence such time as the necessity, therefore, shall exist. <laughs> now, you're probably looking for some sort of loophole where you as a judge are sitting there, yes. And they're thinking, well, I don't want to resign from being a judge in the state of Washington. Yeah. I don't want to retire mm -hmm. because that would be some sort of admission of guilt. The truth is you could decide that you're going to leave for 60 days and then you would forfeit your office. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a little known loophole in the actual state constitution that is you, Judge Kogenhauer, Melly, um, Judge Brent Based. Right now, you could just inform the governor, the governor, yes, I'm going to leave the state for the next 60 days and I'm going to forfeit my office as a judge. Yes. Now, we seem to have some difficulty with the concept of leaving office right now. We have some very obnoxious individuals. Right that are in office, right, and they won't retire, yes, they won't resign, mm -hmm. and they won't forfeit their office. Well, the state constitution makes provision for your absence of the judicial officer, Brent, <clears throat> any judicial officer, yes, who shall absent himself from the state, yes, for more than 60 consecutive days shall be deemed to have forfeited his office. Yes. Now, uh, for all of those, yes, uh, in the judiciary of each and every court of every county, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as long as you don't inform the governor that you have some sort of extreme necessity for leaving the state, yes, let's go ahead, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually forfeit your office without resigning and without having an obligation to inform anybody why you left. Mm -hmm. Now, these corrupt judges, right. Mm -hmm. Brent, you are corrupt. You're 
absolutely one of the most corrupt period. You are corrupt. You know, Brent Basden issued a protection order on July 8th of 2011. Yes. Because my wife said I was crazy and I got arrested on Guam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You reissued it knowing that I was not a resident of the state of Washington. Yes. She should have told you that we had a baby on Guam. And then you had Superior Court Judge Ken Williams issue a one-year protection order without any actual notice or opportunity. Now, Brent is a corrupt judge. Do you understand how corrupt you are, Brent? Now, you can move off to any state of the United States. You just send a little letter to the governor that it's not an extreme situation, and in 60 days you have forfeited your office as a Superior Court judge. Did you need some sort of loophole right now? Brent, you issued mm -hmm. protection orders where you used a forgery of the superior court clerk. You issued protection orders where these five minors named, yes, are in the wrong grades. You issued protection orders where it actually says respondent did not receive actual notice of the hearing. You are corrupt right now. You understand, Brent? You are corrupt. Now, why don't you leave the state so that you forfeit? 